But we promised you something that we were going to do, um, which was to talk to this man, Robert Spencer, about his Weta. Uh, the Weta Trimaran has been a favorite at SA for a while, and certainly our boys on the west coast of the U.S. are ripping it up, one design racing out there, and these things are catching on. We interviewed um, uh, we interviewed the builder, Chris, uh, in, in the States at, at Boat Kitchen, yeah. yeah, Chris Kitchen at the Boat Show. Maybe it was this dealer, I don't know. 50, 60 some odds so sold worldwide. And Robert, you have one or you have two? I think you have two. Uh, I brought in two. This two, this two three three and two three four is here as well. My uh, friend of mine, a long-term friend of mine, bought one as well. So so tell us about it. I mean, you got it in Dubai. You don't have any one design fleet. Is that, are you trying to try build a fleet here? Uh, trying to build a fleet. If I can get five here, I'll get a fleet start, and then I'll have a little bit of competition. But it's good at the moment because nobody knows how good or how badly it goes. So no matter how badly I sail, it still looks good. Now, obviously, the moth catching on here with, um, I think, 15 boats in all the UAE and, and 10 or 11 that are sailing here regularly. Well, you know, there's obviously a lot of guys like you and me who are going to go, that's ah, not for me. I need something that maybe will hold a little more and maybe not take as much athleticism. Is this the boat? Well, this has been described as a moth for fat bastards. <laughs> um, having done, what, 15, 16 knots, two up, and 15 knots on my own. That's more than fast enough. One knot per uh, foot of length of the boat is more than, more than enough. Easy to sail. Haven't flipped it yet. Have been out in maybe 20 knots. And you just call it. You call them up, and they come in a box, and you're you're on your way. Uh, four come in a container. I got two. Cost cost quite a bit because it's coming from China. But if I can get four, I may have four coming in in June or July this year, which will get us a fleet of maybe six here. Now your predominant conditions here are what we're seeing right now, six to eight knots really a lot of the time, maybe 10, 12. Yeah, 10, 10 12 on a good day, 14, 15 now and again, uh, 18, 20 as you saw last weekend, yeah. unusual, but a whole lot of fun. And, and have you flipped it yet? Nope, I've tried, but you, but you know I've how, come you, close. You know how to ride it, you read the manual? Yeah, I read, I read the manual <laughs> last, last week. I've been thrashing it now for about a year. So, and, uh, a year? Yeah. You must be going year. okay by now. <laughs> well, if that's my almost my entire si sailing experiences on this. So, like a lot of people telling us, the moth, you know, that either that either brought them into sailing from from not sailing in a long time, or really doing single handing when they never had before. This one brought you in. Yeah, well, I wanted a boat that was number one. I could set up and sail on my own, bring people out if I wanted to bring people out, and I want something a little bit more performance than my original boat, which was a Windrider 16 which was a great boat to learn on because you couldn't do anything wrong on it. Right. But you couldn't do very much on it either. So show us a couple of things you like about the boat. Um, more than anything, the Jenniker. Oh, sorry. The Jenniker on the front, because it's roller furling, you can put it up. If the wind is good, you can just pop it out, and it's like a turbo button. And that'll be the first thing I'll break on the boat. And, and where, where are all the controls for that? Um, controls for the Jenniker are... You have a single, single continuous line and then the furler is the green line up the front. Um, basically, you just let it go. It, it reaches reasonably high. I, I basically, from a colleague of mine who has a Beneteau 31, we spent a couple of hours out flying his asymmetric, and it flies exactly the same as an asymmetric. Really? Uh, but you're a little faster? A uh, hell of a lot faster. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> He's six, six, seven knots in the Beneteau. I say, in similar conditions, this one will do 15. 15, 16 knots. Now, I notice you've got some, some, a trick camera mount up there. You want to tell us about that? <laughs> That's a guaranteed waterproof camera. It has been well under the water many times. <laughs> and it uh, doesn't look too good on YouTube, but it, it bas basically it goes under, but it can focus and pops back up again, dries itself off and continues. Well, you need to get some footage together and get it to me for the front page. Give me some wind. <laughs> Give me, me some wind. If there was some out here, I'd yeah, be just as yeah, happy as yeah. you right now. Yeah, so what, what do you think about the moths, uh, about having them here and all? I mean, I, have you ever seen them? You, you've seen them yeah. out here, obviously. Yeah, I've, I've watched them. Well, being a, an engineer by trade, an, avi an aviation engineer, I'm uh, interested in the technology, but I'm definitely not in the weight category that I would need to be to sail one, yeah. or the financial category. I so said, this thing, this thing works out at half the price of a Hobie 16 here. So what's that, about $10,000? It's $11,000 of the U.S. list price. Well, she's pretty pretty nice, and you know, if we can get some breeze, I guarantee you, I'm going to call you because I want to take this thing out. I've been trying for a year to go sailing on one; it just hasn't happened. Well, hopefully, it will in the next few days because, as you know, the conditions here are totally unpredictable. Yeah, well, and bear, no, bear no relation to the forecast. <laughs> Today, the forecast was was spot on, actually. So it's at 13 at four o'clock. Did it really? We got another hour. <laughs> got another an hour, an hour to go yet. All right. Well, hey, man, thank right. you very much, and uh, good luck, pleasure. and hopefully we'll get to go for a sale. Yeah. Okay, pleasure. All right, cheers. Cheers, bye. All right, hey, thank you so much. I'm going to head out for a while.